Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Monday, April the 4th. It's the fifth week in Lent, and please join me. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Amen. Psalm 35, and please recite it with me. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Fight with them that fight me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up and help me. Draw the spear and stop them that persecute me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek my life. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my harm. Let them be like chaff before the wind and let your angel chase them. Let their path be dark and slippery and let your angel persecute them. For without cause, they have hid their net in a pit to take me alive. Let destruction surprise them and let them be sought, caught up in the net that they have hid. Into that very pit, let them fall. My soul shall be joyful in you and rejoice in your salvation. My whole being shall say, my God, who is like you, who delivers the poor from the oppressor and the needy from those that rob them. False witnesses rise up, they charge me unjustly. They rewarded me evil for good, and my soul was in despair. But when they were sick, I dressed in sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and I prayed with my whole heart. As if they had been my friends or brothers, I bowed down and grieved, as one that mourns for his mother. But they rejoiced when I stumbled, and gathered themselves together. They gathered themselves against me, they surprised me and tore me to pieces and would not stop. They mocked me and put me to the test. They gnashed me with their teeth. Oh God, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their destructions and save my life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation and I will praise you among the peoples. Let not my lying enemies rejoice over me. Do not let them that hate me without cause wink at each other. For they do not wish for peace, but they devise plots against the peaceful in the land. They opened their mouths wide against me and said, Aha! With our own eyes we've seen it. You saw it, O God. Keep not your silence and be not far from me. Arise and awake to my cause. Come to my defense, my God most high. Vindicate me, my God, according to your righteousness. Do not let them rejoice over me. Do not let them say in their hearts, Ah, just as we would have it. We've swallowed him up. Let them that rejoice in my heart be ashamed and confused. Let them that boast against me be clothed in shame and dishonor. Let them that shout for joy, uh, let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Let them ever say how great you are, who takes pleasure in my prosperity. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and sing your praise all the day long. Amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Plead by cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 9, beginning at verse 30. They went on from there and passed through Galilee. Jesus did not want anyone to know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him. And three days after being killed, he will rise again. But they did not understand that he what he was saying and were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had argued with one another who was the greatest. 
he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them, and taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him, because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him, for no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. For truly, I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose the reward. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For all who are sick, especially those suffering in the COVID-19 pandemic. For prisoners and captives, for the persecuted, and for refugees, especially those fleeing from the war in their Ukraine. For all who died, especially Chuck. That together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For those who serve in harm's way. For the victims of terrorism and violence. For the resolve of the nations to address the climate change crisis. For the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering from dementia. For those struggling with addiction, especially Bill. For the Mercy of God community, Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the Mercy of God associates. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O saving God, we rejoice at your mighty help. May we live our lives in your joy, and may our mouths ever praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.